Hey guys, welcome to Greatness Quest. I'm Trevor Crane, and every week I'm bringing you somebody absolutely extraordinary that you can go ahead and take their success secrets out, put them in your business, implant them in your life. And today, this is Aaron Kennard, my special guest. Brother, thank you for being here. Hey, thank you for having me. Excited to be here, Trevor. Hey, I'm excited that you are in your office and I am out here in Northern California. I'm in Wal- Walnut Creek and it I figured out... It is gorgeous that, out there. Yeah, and can you see my face okay? Because you're almost... Yes. I almost can't see you at all. <laughs> my yep, glasses you on. got it. I can see you. You're... You know, I love the glasses. It's it's a great touch. Oh, well, thank you. You know, well, that, uh, when I take them off, I'm all squinty. It won't exactly, even look like yeah. I have Yeah, keep eyes. them on. It's good. <clears throat> all right. Well, um, Aaron Kennard is actually, we connected about a month ago, and we met at a conference. We connected right away. And what you're going to love about this cat is he's a number one best-selling author that has actually had 300,000 downloads of his book in the last 18 months. And not only that, so this is really cool because a lot of people will write a book. There's a lot of starving authors out there that will write a book but never be able to profit from that or grow a list. And not only has he had a ton of people get this book, but he has actually built his list of, I think it's what, 12,000 people right now that have that have joined your yeah, list? Yeah, about, about 12,000 active subscribers just from that book. And what I love about this, you're going to hear from Aaron, he almost did that accidentally. Like he just started sharing his mission about this book. Uh, the book is called The Positive Thinking Secret. Great book. And I can see, are you holding can it you up there? It? I, yep. I got to take the glasses off to see it. Dude, great cover, great book. Uh, thank you for sending it to me as a gift, by the way. Yeah, Absolutely. I appreciate that. And I love the poster you have in the background. Isn't that part of the, the whole concept of the of the book? Yeah. For sure, yeah, that came about before the book, and it's called The 12 Pillars of a Truly Amazing Life. It's kind of the genesis of, of my mission in life is to teach people those 12 habits, those 12 pillars. And I can't wait to share your story with them because it's so powerful, but let's just do one step further. Another thing that's powerful about Aaron and the fact that he's used this book to not just generate a followship, but that his book has had a huge impact with people where you're getting messages that the the story of your book actually saved people's lives. And well, hold on, two parts. I love the impact it's having, but let's also talk about profit. You're profiting from the revenues from this book actually every single month. You make sales from that book, you have a membership site, and that's I think what's powerful about a book for your business. But brother, talk to me about the impact your book has had and the feedback you're getting from people who consume your book. Yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, it's kind of mind-blowing when it when I was putting it out there and I think probably everybody who puts a book out there experiences this. I know I'm experiencing it again as I'm putting forth more books, that feeling of like, Oh my goodness, what if everybody hates this? What if I get like a thousand one star reviews? And you know, you just, you just, I just, there's just that feeling of like when you're putting something new and when you're putting yourself on the line, that feeling of that scary feeling of, uh, of, of fear or whatever. But, um, you know, putting it out there, I knew I had to do it and I did it. And, uh, the feedback has been amazing. I mean, people, the emails that I get are incredible. I mean, they sometimes bring the tears to my eyes because like what, just as one example, one lady, she actually sent me a video testimonial of herself saying how she was literally preparing to die. She'd been depressed for 20 years and she just, she had this sickness and she was laying in bed every day, just waiting to die. She could not, she did not want to be alive. She had nothing more to live for effectively. And she was just preparing to die. And then she read my book and it just woke her up, up and brought her back to life. And it's like, it, it blew my mind. I mean, literally, and it stopped this 20-year depression. She All of a sudden, she, she realized she had a purpose to be here. She's, she's since been writing her own books. And she feels, this com- compelled, she feels compelled to publish these books. And she's like gardening every day. I mean, it flipped the switch in her life. And so that's just one example. I've heard hundreds of examples, not quite that extreme, but it's been amazing. Well, brother... <clears throat> Your your story's so great at so many levels. It's a great book, by the way, and you're so vulnerable in the damn book. I can't believe it because you. I'll let you tell your story here in a little bit. Um, I, I, the pictures you show though are just like I, I can feel your yeah. pain, uh, you know, yeah. in that in that story. But here's what I love about it. Uh, Greatness Quest is all about finding someone who's been extraordinary in business, and you can implant their secrets into your life and in your business. And for you, this this whole month, I'm interviewing best-selling authors. And Aaron, you and I are now co-authoring a book this yep. month that is going to come out. We're going to pre-launch it by the end of the month. 
to give people the courage to go ahead and publish their own book, launch it in a powerful way, and you're a beautiful example of that, my friend, so thank you for doing it. Um, before we get into the concept of this book, tell me what you're about, because you just mentioned multiple books that you're launching, so now that this first book has had a tremendous success for you, what's coming next? Because I know you have a new book coming out, and tell me a little bit, uh, tell everybody about that. Yeah, the new book is called Affirm Your Truth, and it's actually a part of a series. And so as you see that poster behind me, it's that's the 12 pillars of a truly amazing life. And there's these 12 habits associated with each of those pillars that I discovered are literally what makes life truly amazing for me. And it's simple habits like meditation, um, like gratitude, you know, other focus, like priority focus in your day, writing your three priorities, just these simple habits that when you live them and combine them all together, it really is like the foundation of living a truly amazing life in my view and in my opinion. And right. so my mission is to teach people those habits and not only just to teach them, but to help people install the habits so that they're transformational in their lives. Because I just, I don't like, I mean, you read a lot of books, but unless you implant in, in unless you uh, implement it, it's, it doesn't do any good for you. So anyway, this, this, it's a 12 book series where it's a 30 day um, transformational series for each one of these habits that I'm, that I'm doing. So the first one's coming out like this week as we speak, by the time this publishes, it'll be out. And you're going to give a gift of that book away to ever, all of my viewers. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, the email version of that book where it comes to your email every single day, we'll get, uh, we'll give that to you for free as just for listening to this interview. Brother, I love that. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to put the, co the, the link on the screen here so you guys can go get that now and you'll be able to connect with Aaron. And when we come back, uh, I want Aaron, can you tell us the story that's behind this first book and kind of the challenges you went through and how this book and this whole philosophy changed your life? Would that be cool? Absolutely. All right, my friend. So you're watching Greatness Quest on the Whatever It Takes Network. We'll see you in a second. Hey guys, you're watching Greatness Quest. I'm Trevor Crane, and today I'm here with Aaron Kennard, number one best-selling author who has actually delivered over 300,000 of his books have been downloaded. The gentleman has making profit from his book every single month. He has a new 12-month, or excuse me, a 12-book series that is coming out to follow his first book and. You know, if you're looking to put a book in your business, and if you're not yet, you should be. That's why you're watching this uh, program today. <laughs> then uh, nobody better to talk to than Aaron. And brother, talk to me about the what the, your book is about. Hold it up for me again so everybody can see it, and tell a little bit of your story of, of how this saved your life. Yeah, so this is my first book. It's called The Positive Thinking Secret, and it's essentially the story of how I had this epiphany that you know, there is no such thing as a bad day. One day I woke, I went, I was going to sleep when I had this sore throat that wouldn't go away. And I realized in that I had this epiphany moment, epiphany epiphany moment in 2011, where I, I realized that I got to choose, um, to, that everything is conspiring for my benefit. And so I felt this urge to say thank you every time I swallowed and felt the pain. And that led me into this kind of epiphany moment that I could, I could choose to turn every single pain to my advantage. Well, that, um, that started me on this mission to helping people live a helping people live a truly amazing life because from that day forth I stopped having bad days I was I felt completely empowered to really live my life how I wanted to live it and be happy regardless uh, anyway that led to kind of the genesis of this book which is essentially the story of what happened next which is that uh, about six months after that my body shut down and I got this disease that the doctor says was incurable uh, so it was Crohn's colitis and and effectively, I lost 50 pounds over the course of um, over the course of three months, and nearly died. And you can kind of maybe you can see a picture of that here. This is like me as a skeleton. Uh, is that in there? Yeah. So might, yeah. You can you can go online and check out those pictures. But anyway, I uh, I lost 50 pounds over the course of a few months, and nearly died. I got hauled off to the emergency room a couple of times, but my life was saved through this uh, emergency surgery. They had to remove my whole colon. And uh, the, the, the point is, is that and then I had some miraculous recovery after that. That's all in the book. But the point of it is, is that, um, that this belief that everything is conspiring for your benefit, that is effectively the backbone of the positive thinking secret. And holding that belief and, 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 and holding on to that through that is a, like a life-changing way of living. And so that, that particular belief has transformed hundreds of lives. It's transformed my life, and that's kind of the basis of that book. 
Well, here's what I think is, I mean, I meet a lot of business owners and a lot of people that are trying to help people make money in their business. And oftentimes the thought can be, you know, I don't want to write a book that's a positive thinking, you know, airy fairy type of a book. I mean, the, the, the self-helpness might not be, but what I love about this, you came up with the concept and then didn't you do the poster that you've got there in the background? Didn't you create that? And yeah. then after you'd had this beautiful belief that everything's conspiring to your benefit and there's no such thing as a bad day, you've mentioned that many times. I'm just writing it down again because I like to keep it in. Yep. But after you came up with this concept, then you got sick, then you got hammered, and then you're losing. I mean, you are you were totally down to a skeleton, dude. Those three months, yeah. I mean, I know you went through some serious pain. Talk a little bit about that because that's... Yeah, so it was, it was insane. I mean, you, you, <laughs> you can't, I can't even remember how painful it was because you block that kind of stuff out. But, I mean, literally, like, I was sleeping naked. But before I had the surgery and as it was, cold, as it was progressing, I was sleeping naked because my bowels were so unpredictable that, like, I was beyond man diapers. I mean, I couldn't even – I was like, sleeping on a hospital chucks pad every night. Because and I was sleeping in the addition to our house because there was a sliding glass door that we could close, and so like every ninety minutes, like clockwork, I would have these excruciatingly painful bowel movements to where like I was literally screaming out loud every single time. I'd wake up and I'd hold myself up on the bed and just be screaming. And then I had that door that I would close, and luckily we had that addition, so my family wouldn't wake up, so I wouldn't be waking up my wife and my kids. And anyway, that was the that was my life. I was like, I thought I was dying. It was crazy. When this was going on and you saw this poster there, were you calling (laughs) bullshit? Because, dude, that sounds to me like a bad day. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So that's what I had to – it was like the ultimate test of what I was trying to teach people. And, you know, can I really look you in the eye and say, look, there's no such thing as a bad day. Everything is conspiring for your benefit. I had to go through this situation where I'm looking at that poster and I was tempted to be like, screw you poster, <laughs> rip it off the wall and be like, this is not a truly amazing life. This sucks. You know, yeah. I was, I, I mean, if anything is going to make you want to say that my situation was, it was really brutal. And I thought I was going to die. I had four young kids. My wife's going crazy. My son is like suicidally depressed, literally threatened. He's eight years old, threatening to kill himself. And I am like dying and I have this poster on my wall that says, this is a truly amazing life and this is how. And so, yeah, it was hard. But the, thing, the reality of it was, was that experience was exactly how purposely there for me to help people, you know, with that belief. Because I, when, I, when I really confronted it in the worst of all circumstances, it came through with flying colors. I could not deny what that poster said. I could not deny that everything was conspiring for my benefit. I had to leave it there. And then it pulled me through. It's like it it passed the ultimate test with flying colors because then I would experience moments of literally euphoric joy. Like I'd be in that pain, but I would lay down and when I'd have a reprieve, I would know that this was happening to save somebody's life, that this was happening to do amazingly good things that I couldn't even imagine. And the harder it is, the more amazing it is. And I, and so that having that belief, it proved the whole thing, right? right in that moment for me. And I would have these moments of just like super high joys in, 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 in between the pain. Thankfully I was spared and now I have no more pain. And I've actually recovered from this disease that doctors say that you can never recover from. I have no pharmaceutical drugs because I found a naturopath who taught me the truth. But so I'm so grateful not to be in pain, but that lesson, the lessons that it taught and the, and the proof that it, it did for that exact thing that I was trying to teach was quite amazing. Brother. You got some great beliefs here. I'm just going to, you know, the the everything is conspiring to my benefit is one that I think is such a powerful belief that people ingrain in your life. And it's it's like a mantra. I can almost imagine you. Is this, is your poster and, and those pillars, is this something that you repeat over and over again and focus yeah. on and focus on, especially the harder it is, the more amazing it is. What a oh, beautiful yeah. belief, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's I truly believe that the the more difficult it is, the more amazing it is in store. And and yeah, like you see this this mantra that I have on my shirt, make today amazing. I say that at the end of every single email that I send. It's like it's it is my call to action to anybody that look, you can make every day amazing. And then that that statement, everything is conspiring for your benefit, that's actually on shirts now too. So you'll start seeing those. Those are gonna be available on the website and stuff. But that is a mantra that will change your life. Right. If you if you believe it. 
Well, brother, we're going to take another quick break. And when you come back, we're going to talk about how you actually had some great success with this book. Thanks for having you here, man. Yeah, so glad to be here. All right. See you in a sec. Welcome back. You're watching Greatness Quest. I'm Trevor Crane here with Aaron Kennard, who is a number one best-selling author, has distributed 300,000 of his books in the last 18 months, and his book, the story that you just heard, uh, helped save his life. Uh, hundreds of other people have actually shared the benefits of that with, uh, with Aaron, and I want to talk about what you're going to get today, work, uh, since you're tuning in here. Aaron, Talk about the gift. I know you've got a new book coming out and how everybody watching right now can get it. And by the way, you can go to greatnessquest.com forward slash amazing for having an amazing life. Uh, that's Aaron's gift to everybody. So tell me about that, brother. Yeah, so uh, the first thing I created after writing that book was a program. It's a 30-day transformational program to help people install the belief that everything is conspiring for your benefit. It's it's basically a, a habit, the habit of affirmations. And so that's the one key affirmation that I invite people to do. So it's this 30-day program delivered by email. And I've been selling that on my website for the last couple of years. Thousands of people have gone through it and had major breakthroughs in their life because of it. I've been blown away. I've had literally hundreds of testimonials from it. But what I'm going to do is just give it to you guys for free. I'd like you guys to experience it. Anybody that's interested in that, and it's um, it's actually the content of my first book in the series, which is called Affirm Your Truth. So I've taken that 30-day training and turned it into a book, and now I'm going to give that training away to anybody that goes over there. So. And by the way, if you haven't heard, read his book yet, you should go check it out. It's The Positive Thinking Secret. You can find it on iBooks. You can find it on Amazon. Anywhere fine books are sold. Is that true or where that's would they? very true. Anywhere. Except you probably won't see it in physical bookstores at this moment. But yeah. But that's coming. That's coming. I know you've yeah. got new products and whatnot that are rolling out. You mentioned the poster, the t-shirts, and a product line. And your yeah. new book, again, is going to be out probably by the time they watch this video. Yeah, is that by the right? time they see this. It's coming out this week. So yeah. Okay. It'll so be available. Give, me the, give everybody the name of that again so they can find that one as well. The new book is called Affirm Your Truth. Affirm your truth. Okay. Yep. I'll be one of your first buyers on that. Nice. Uh, and uh, please make sure you go to greatnessquest.com forward slash amazing so that you can go ahead and live an amazing life and you'll get the uh, free gift that Aaron's given away and make sure you uh, check that out. I'll be straight up. I haven't done it yet myself, so I'm looking forward to the 30-day program. So yep. I'll be the first one to subscribe to that as well. Awesome. Yeah, and so the book is effectively the same thing as the 30-day thing you're getting for free. So mm -hmm. if you buy the book, you get more detail, more intro or whatever, but you also get a hard copy to keep the training. A lot of people really like to refer back to it more. So, But even if you don't buy the book, you get the training for free, and it's really in, I mean, it has the potential to be majorly impactful in your life. It's a very simple thing. But it's, it's changed a lot of people's lives. Well, guys, I don't know if you can get this yet, but um, you know, I really do my homework when I try to find you somebody to bring for an interview. And I just loved Aaron from the moment I met him uh, at this program we were at, brother. So thank you again for being here, dude, and sharing your, your, your wisdom and your story. Uh, tell everybody here, if you would, like, if, like, first of all, should they have a book? And what are the benefits of having a book for their business? These are entrepreneurs, salespeople, people that want to further their career and improve their, their personal and professional life. What would be your advice? And then we're going to get your secrets for how you've had such success with your book in a short period of time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, that was the very first thing I did. That was the very first thing I wanted to do when I felt this mission to then I felt this mission kind of come into my life. It's like I knew I needed to get a book. And I think probably for anybody that a book is just such a powerful, um, it's just such a powerful credibility builder. It's such a powerful way to get your message out there. It's so powerful for so many reasons. And so I highly recommend it. What I will say though is it's not easy and don't expect it to be because to write a good book, it takes a lot of work. And anybody who's written a good book will tell you it's, it's, it like takes blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, for me to, to launch the book, it took three months of intense, intense like focus and writing, and then, then you know the editing, and then hundreds of dollars for for cover design and all that stuff. There, there's a lot that goes into making it good. You don't want to just throw together some crappy thing that takes like five minutes and and because that's you. It's, you're putting yourself out there, and you want you want to put yourself out there well. I but I say it's worth the sacrifice to take yeah. that time and and make it happen well. Well, but, but definitely to do a book, yeah. Okay, so definitely do a book, and I'm going to go ahead and summarize what you just said in two words, and that is 
get help. You know, yeah. I know a lot of people out there. When we, uh, my wife and I both pre launched our book and we both became bestsellers the same day. And we used a strategy online to go ahead and do that. And it's one that didn't cost us much money, it was almost a free strategy. It took us all day long <laughs> to do yeah. it. But we sold 400 books that day, and we're very proud of it. We became number one bestsellers. But we did that based on countless hours of research and work and insight from experts telling us how to do it, holding our hands so that we did it properly. And had we not put all that work in, man, it would have been impossible to create the same result. And the cover is so important, your category is so important, how you put it in, where you put it in. Just here, the easiest way to do this is to get help. Now, the new book that Aaron, you and I are co-authoring together, and I'm going to cover the how-to of how to write the book, launch the book, all of that, but uh, it's going to yeah. be a great resource for you. It's your epic book launch, so you can become a number one international bestseller quickly, but the key here is even with that book, there's so, much little, there's so many little things that need to happen. You just mentioned a few here about the editing. If you mess that yeah. up, you can sabotage your success, so... Please yeah. get help with your book and every part. If you want to try anything new, man, the, the fastest way you can make it happen is to get help. Would you yeah. correct me on any of that? Yeah, or do you totally, feel the same way? totally. And then I, but I would also add to that, don't, if you don't feel like you have the perfect help, don't, you got to really fight that urge to be perfect too. Because my first book, when I first, when I launched this book, I, I put out their version that was not very, that was pretty raw, and I got some negative feedback initially. But I'm so glad that I put it out there. I went back and re edited it and uploaded a new version because I had to take some of the more graphic descriptions. What I would say is don't let yourself wait. Just put something out there. It's better to get something out there that's not perfect than to not get anything out at all. So that's, that's the challenge that it's always gonna be pulling at us as authors and entrepreneurs. You just, we tend to wanna put out our best face, and so it's, we don't wanna put out something that's not ready. The best thing is just literally get something out there. You know, there's been a theme, and you don't know this, Aaron, because you haven't seen all my episodes and all the countless people I've interviewed, but there's a theme that every successful entrepreneur I've ever talked about keeps coming up with, and it's this fighting perfection and yeah. th and getting it out there and getting it done. I did an interview yesterday with another friend of mine. He said the same thing, that that's the biggest obstacle to his success in the past and and so beautiful thank you so much for sharing that don't be perfect yeah. <laughs> and um i wrote down two parts that you had said about the power of a book for you you mentioned tremendous credibility and it's a phenomenal way to get your message out there so now let's get into some core strategy here you have a pretty successful book uh it's not a new york times bestseller yet but you've had some great business growth, personal growth. You've changed people's lives. You have new opportunities. You have a whole new product line and book series, and and you know what? And a big email list. I mean, there's a huge asset building just from that book. Huge asset, huge asset. Yeah. And now more people can find you on all these different medias. You're, um, you know, on on iBooks and Amazon, where people are already looking for you. Uh, yep. We've talked about this before, but maybe come up with your most, your one, two, three, whatever, how you, you'd like to share it, um, of the most important things about what made your book go uh, successful. What were they? One, two, three. What do you think they are? Hmm. Well, probably the biggest one was, was the story, was the book itself. Okay. The fact that it was highly impactful and came from such a real, raw place of truth. To where it was so, like when I was writing it, I was bawling like half the time. Like when I know, I know that it's going to be good when it's that emotional, when it's that real and raw, you know. So the story and having a good book was probably the number one thing. Because if it was just, a, yeah, that's important to have something that's really impactful. Well, you the know next, what? And you're not, there's no bullshit in you at all. I mean, from what I can tell, you know, I think authenticity is one of the most powerful yeah. things that people can have. And oftentimes we hide from our blemishes. You know, I've got yep. a, a, a scab on my lip right here. My tendency is to hide from it. I don't want to point it out to you. But now I'm like, hey, hey look, blemish. I'm not perfect. You know, I'm me. Now I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the asshole sitting out in the grass. And so like, people are like, what are you? Well, you know what? I'm that kind of asshole. Either you're going to like it or you're not going to like it. But that's yeah. me. And so I think that that's a very powerful piece and not one to skip over. I know I'm interjecting here, brother, but your story is important. Your yeah. truth is yeah. important. Be authentic. Yeah, because if you are just true to you, 
if you say screw everything, what other people think, I'm going to tell what's true for me, you'll always be better off. You, you can, it's just, you don't know who it's going to impact, but somehow I believe truth, like when you're really authentic, it reaches who it needs to reach and it's just so much more impactful that way. Um, I think that's probably the most important thing. Okay. Uh, so that, off. that is, that is a, uh, that is a character thing. Like we're saying, okay, man, tell your truth. They're like, I get it. I get it. I get it. How the hell did you get 300,000 300, downloads in 18 yeah. months? I mean, that's transformational yeah. to someone's so that, business or life. So that was the strategy I used specifically on that was I chose to give it away for free. You okay. chose to give it away for free, which is step three or step four of our epic book launch system. That's one of the strategies yeah. that you can use yeah. to launch your book for free or even if you have a paid book to use the strategy of giving it away for free at different times to grow your list and grow yeah. the amount of people that are going to get to see your book on Amazon and iTunes and such. And that's all I caught, brother. You okay. kind of broke up so there. I used a company called ebookit.com to do that, and they published it on all the things. They take 15% royalties, but I was publishing it for free, so I paid them an extra $99 because in order to do publish it for free because they weren't going to get anything out of it because it was free, right? So they, they still did it for me. And they knew how to do that. So if anybody wants a simple, easy way to do what I did, go to ebookit.com and they'll, they'll help you do it for free. So that's one way that you can just get help and make it easy. Take a lot of the hard part out of it. That's right. what I did. Um, and I'm going to do my next ones on my own because I know how to do it now. But, but anyway, if somebody needs help on that. So that, the strategy was they'll give it away for free and put links in there that drive to a landing page that, get them, that gave away my free poster. Um, cause that was a major theme of the book. And I said, Hey, get the free poster. And then I got about 40 to 50% of people clicking that link would actually opt in and give me their emails. And so over the course of 18 months, I built up 12,000, 12,000 subscribers. It was actually like 15,000, but you have those opt outs. So I have about 12,000 subscribers still from that. So that strategy was given away for free, but also important, very, very important to the strategy was I published it on print as well, print on demand. Mm -hmm. And I use Ingram or lightning source but you can use create space or whoever there's a couple options on printing on demand, but I got a print version. Like you see the actual print hard copy. I published that at the same time. And I also published it on audio on audible. So it's important for credibility, but it's also important for another reason. As I was giving away the Kindle version, I was actually generating about three to $500 per month on print and audible sales because you're getting a lot of visibility with the, with the free thing and you're getting lots of traffic. And you're going to get these other sales. So you're not you're driving revenue, but you're also having more credibility. So I think it's super important not just to create an ebook, but yeah. to actually turn your book into print and audio. So that was that was key to the strategy. So then I did that for 18 months, and now and it was ranked number one in its category on the free. It was ranked in the top 200 overall that entire time for because because I specifically used keyword rank keywords in the title like positive thinking, for example, the positive thinking secret. But anyway, it was it was ranked that high for a long time, and I finally decided to switch it to paid, um, just a paid book after 18 months because um, to test out a different strategy. But right. <clears throat> So let me recap some of this. So the first thing you mentioned was tell your true authentic story. You don't have to bullshit anybody. You just, you know, whatever your truth is will resonate with the right people. Now, yep. when you published it, use the strategy of a free strategy. Uh, yesterday I, I interviewed one of our other contributing authors to your epic book launch, which is our new book we're doing together. And he used the strategy of podcasting for his second book. He podcasted first created the content for his book, and then put it out there. It's another one of our launching yeah. strategies. So you used, for this book, the free version. And I think yeah. for your next book, the 12 new books in your series, yeah. are they going to come out free initially nope. or for paid? No, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to do them free at all because now I have a big list, so I don't really need to make them all for free right now because I can promote. The thing, the thing is, is with the free version, now I have 465 reviews. I have like 300 five star reviews or something like that. And so it's important to get those reviews, which is why I did that because I didn't have an audience at first. Right. And I wanted to get a bigger reach. But right now I'm going to do promos where I'll maybe give my books away for free periodically, but in general they're going to have a price and the 12 series will will be will will charge for them in general and then um 
and then I'll I'll be able to promote do different run different promos on different books at different times. Aaron, so you we talked about the story, we talked about your strategy of really giving this away for free, but making sure that the book was available everywhere. So yep. you you gave some great sources on where they can do that, but not just a ebook, but a print book and an audio book and that it started generating sales and so they they all fit each other. I think that's key. Yes. So getting it everywhere, which is part of the whole launch strategy, is that we have a free launch, an e-launch, a paperback launch, and you promote it and celebrate it every time you have a new one using press releases and Facebook and a lot of different strategies that we'll give you in the new book that is coming out. Uh, and here's another thing that you mentioned, which, and a lot of people don't do this, they don't put good links in their books to, to capture a list. So that's yeah. one that people don't want to skip as well. You can put it anywhere in your content, in the front of the book, back of the book, end of the chapters. Where yeah. did you actually give it away? Where did it work best for you for those links in your book? I mean, the very beginning, when I gave away the poster in the first chapter, is the most, that's the most clicked upon link in my system, but I put, but I got clicks all the way throughout the book. I put links literally throughout the book mm -hmm. and I'd get clicks, but the more, the beginning ones were the most because like people could preview it on Amazon or iTunes. And even in that first preview part, there's links. And so you want to make sure that you give a, 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 a nice giveaway right at the beginning, right before the whole book even starts so that people can like right now, what I'm doing with my new series, I'm actually giving the audio book away for free right before the book starts. So even if somebody doesn't buy the book, they can actually download the audio book for free. And that's totally worth it for me because now they're on my email list. And like, it, it doesn't matter to me if they don't buy the book. I'm giving them huge value and they're giving me, yeah. I mean, obviously great if they buy the book too, but if they listen to it, great. I'm happy to give it to them. So it's just another, I'm testing that one. It's a, another one that I know other people have used with, to great success because that's a huge Bri that's a huge opt-in bribe, right? Like huge. That's, that's big. Well, and this is key because uh, uh, a lot of people don't do this. This is super, super, super ninja right now because you get your book out there and what Aaron just mentioned is that people will often preview it. They click on the little button to see the first yep. few pages of your chapter and if you have a good, compelling offer, you know, that like your poster, a very compelling offer, yep. that's a, a nice free download. Like, oh, I can click that. It's an easy, simple one. Or your audio book, like, hey, that's a great bribe. Yep. They don't buy your book, but they get on your list. That's why you're doing this in the first place. Yeah, I mean, because then I, they, if they like the book, quite frankly, if they take my first book for free and it values, gives them value in their life, that's what I'm going for. And I'm going to be able to, I want to be able to engage with people on a long term and help change their life. So if they get the book and they get on my list and it helps them, then they're going to, then I can help them further. Right. This and I can't cool. help if, if it's not going to help them anyways, then I don't, I'm mean, quite frankly, I don't want somebody to buy something and it doesn't even help them yeah. anyway. So it's, it's almost like, like they're not allowed. You're not allowed to buy yeah. my stuff unless it helps you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know it will if people really commit to it, but it's kind of just like, it, it's a long-term relationship. And so I really want to give huge value to people and then give them more because it's not like I just have this one thing to give them. It's right. like literally like living a truly amazing life is not just like you do one thing and you're good. It's, it takes diligence and work to like change habits and stuff and yeah. they need help. People need help. And so that's, and that's with any industry, people need you longer than just one thing you've got to give them. They need your help on an ongoing basis. So you very well said people need you on a long term basis ongoing. Yeah. Yeah, both. Ongoing. Either or. Yeah, okay, Bureau brilliant. And the one other piece that you gave here, you and I talked about before, I know there's, um, was keywords in the title. Good God, I've seen this so many times. People will send me their book and say, hey, what do you think of my cover? And I'm looking at the cover and I'm looking at the name of their book and I'm thinking, nobody on God's green earth is out there looking for what you're offering right now. I mean, yeah. even your book, you know, The Positive Thinking Secret, that was not the core of what you wanted to call it initially. That's not the no, core. No, initially I was going to call it There's No Bad Day, but I changed it after doing Amazon research. And actually, I'm really glad that that title's way better anyway, but beyond the keyword aspect of it. But yeah. it, it, it was because I researched keywords. And I was like, what are people searching for on Amazon? And you can, and there's tools that you can do. I mean, if you go to merchantwords.com, that's one tool where people can research those types of things. And, um, or fresh key, if they look up fresh key, that's a, that's a program that digital marketer sells. Mm -hmm. Um, you can search for that. But anyway, I used that tool and it, and it showed huge search results for positive thinking. And so I said, Oh, how about title 
the positive thinking secret. And anyway, it, it made a huge, it makes a huge difference and continues now, right now on iTunes. iTunes is actually doing better than Amazon for me by a long shot. And it's, I'm ranked, I'm ranked consistently like in the top 15 of all books in the self-help self-improvement on Amazon right now. It's, it's amazing. And that's, that's what I'm charging seven ninety nine, And so I'm right up there by Tony Robbins book. I'm right up there by all these other like really famous books in the top 15 to 30 of that, of its category. And it's because of partially because of reviews, but largely because of that keyword um, searchability. Right. So. And here's the thing, you know, we're, we're throwing out these nuggets and you can go look this up, go to merchantwords.com, go get fresh key, you know, figure this stuff out is great. But Aaron, you and I were sharing off screen of what a pain in the butt it is to figure out all this stuff on your own and how yeah. long it takes and how hard it is. And one of the reasons why we created this new book project and I asked you to be part of it is that I want to make this a much easier transition for people. That you don't have to struggle that hard. You can just get our new book. <laughs> yeah. You can we're offering a program where we're going to hold your hand and show you how you can write your own book, launch it, have it be an epic launch using these strategies, the free launch, the e-launch, the paperback launch, the hardback launch, the podcast, which you and I haven't talked about live just now, but I know you have a yeah. podcast as well that you've transformed, correct? Yeah, yeah, I have a podcast as well where I interview people and ask them you know, about different principles, how they, what, what makes life truly amazing to them. And correct me if I'm wrong, has that been powerful for you to also grow your list in readership and viewership? Yeah, yeah for sure. It hasn't been huge for me. It hasn't been I can't say that's been transformational for me because I haven't put I haven't been super consistent with it but I've published it has been helpful lots of people have come right. onto my list through that and also it has been a huge value to the people on my list already because it's very good content very motivational people on my list love when I put out a new episode because they're always really inspirational wonderful stories just kind of like we're doing right now Right. Well, and it's a beautiful part. You're going to get all that in our new book that we're doing together. Um, just to remind everybody, make sure you go to greatnessquest.com forward slash amazing and you'll get Aaron's free gift and he'll be sending you the pieces of his book in a 30-day chunk there. Um, you mentioned keywords in the title and I remember one more thing you had talked about that's really key that you thought was part of your success and I saw it. I'm going to cue you here. I saw it when you held up your book. Anything else that you would suggest to people that's important when they get their book done to do it well, to make sure that they get help, but anything else that you think is powerful about what made your book work well for you? Well, are you, maybe you're referring to just the cover design. That's right. Uh, I, that's important. I mean, people skimp on the cover design, and that's just a huge mistake. Like, I paid probably $600 for this cover design. Turns out the person just used a stock photo, which people might see otherwise. But that doesn't really matter. It looks sharp and it looks good and it's eye-catching mm -hmm. and it's it looks professional and it's it's a humongous impact. Like I, personally, I just don't even want to put something out there with my name on it unless it looks really good. But right. it, but what other when people are downloading, if you know if you're downloading a book and you see this like this clearly self-made like crappy colors book, it just it doesn't make you want to buy the book. It's, no. It just it doesn't do good for you. So no. spend the money on cover design. Go to 99designs or go spend three to $500. And don't, don't hesitate to do that when you're making something professional. 99designs is where I made that, and it worked great. So it, it, I would, can't recommend that enough. Well, and one of the things everybody is watching right now when we come out with our new book, Your Epic Book Launch, <laughs> you're going to, uh, we're going to give you access to the people that we use to design all these things. And you can get that a la carte. You can buy our help and we'll just support you and do it every step of the way as well, which is part of our new done with you, done for you system. So, um, brother, anything else to share? We've had kind of a long interview here, but it's been fun as I'm sitting out here in the sun in SoCal. Uh, You're about to get baked. You probably got to get inside before you start burning up, right? Oh, yeah. You, you can tell I'm that pasty white. <laughs> 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 at least you're not sweating. It must be nice. Well, you're in California. It's probably like 70 degrees, right? Yeah, you know, it's it's been chilly enough that I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt here in the morning. So this has been yeah. really nice. No, I don't have anything else. I I think we've we've covered a lot, and I think there's been a lot of nuggets in there that hopefully hopefully have been helpful for people. Absolutely. And what we're gonna have is coming up. Um, and make sure you stay tuned. If you're subscribed to my channel, I'm gonna let everybody know when we have our launch for your epic book launch we're gonna I'm gonna invite you back for another interview Aaron and uh, the book coming out is gonna be fabulous it'll tell a piece of your story 
and uh, we look forward to helping you launch your book and build your business and that's what this whole month is about. Um, every week I'm going to be sending out another video with another number one best-selling author so that you can go ahead and use what they learned uh, and implant it in your future success. So Aaron, thank you for being on the show. Thanks a lot, man. It's and been we'll great. I'm sorry? No, it's been awesome. Thanks for having me. I heard great in there. I mean, if you're going to compliment me again, I want to make sure I'm here to listen to hear it. I mean, I'm all yours. No, you're fantastic. It's great to be with you. <laughs> cool. Uh, we'll see you back here next week on Greatness Quest on the Whatever It Takes Network. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Greatness Quest is also available for download on iTunes and Stitcher. See the link in the description below.